Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Um, once again, I'm back at it with a unboxing video, as always. But this one's gonna be just a slight different. I know I always say that, but it's gonna be more of a comparison video. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following me, you know I'm subscribed to MTB and LTB. So I'm gonna compare them. Um, I got both of them, obviously not at the same time, but I got both of them right here and I haven't opened them yet. And I'm gonna compare them as far as they seem to be the most popular fishing subscription boxes on the market. But I'm not going to ramble as much as usual. I'm just going to get straight into it for you guys. And I'm going to start off with MTP Pro. Alright, let's see what we got in this box. As always, follow us thing. Uh, a sticker, which I'm not really sure what that is, but a sticker. Um, right off the top, what's in the box and how to use these baits on YouTube vids. Not going to read them off, that'll ruin the whole vid. Right off the top, I got a, what is this, Reaction Strike XRM Series jerk bait. Uh, I believe 120 in the natural shad color. I want to get better easy jerk baits. Why not have some good ones, right? This one caught my eye. Um, second thing, got the spit chug walk, spit and wah from river to sea. Um, it's a frog that spits and chugs. It looks really good. Nice. Uh, sweet football head jig from uh, all terrain tackle. It looks like it's in the. Uh, I can't really see. It's 3 8 ounce. Uh, doesn't say it's color pattern, but it looks like some black and chartreuse. Sartreuse. Don't butcher me. Chartreuse. However you say it. Whatever. Oh yeah, and the frog is in the uh, copper green color, if you were wondering. Some Fintech underspin. Uh, swim jig heads. Quarter ounce, smelt pearl, three yacht hook. Looks like they got a good trailer, or not trailer, keeper on them for trailers. Um, the Z Man, crusty Z pond scum, little teeny uh, craw baits. I end up drop shotting them. Who knows? Uh, I got the Catch Co Pro Series. Tournament grade fishing tackle. Okay, what is it though? Um, doesn't say, but they're just worms, white worms, um, a little bit of blue in them. I think I might know where to fish these at actually. And they look like they threw in some garlic scent. That's cool. Don't know if I'll use it. Um, and of course, the Dibbler's Digest. Dibble Digest. Okay. So that was the MTB. Looks like I got some pretty cool baits. Um, not so sure about the soft plastic, but the hard baits look good. I'm definitely going to use all of those. Um, now, I'm just going to jump straight into the LTB and then do a little bit of a comparison of my personal um, preference or opinion. You guys can roast me all you want or give your feedback, whatever. But. I'm gonna get into the LTB now. So my first LTB right here, I've had like that's like my third MTB. So I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, excited to see what's in here. Okay, right off the bat, it looks like it's wrapped nicely. Um, sweet little looks like they got a little um, little note or card from LTB. I'm not gonna read it because it'll take too much time. I'm a terrible reader. Um, some apparel discounts and stuff and on the back it tells me what I have in the box I believe um, what is this uh, like I said I can't read fish hound magazine cool I have to read that up oh nice see that they know I like to drink beer want to get lucky it says that's awesome uh, this already looks jam-packed um, a little better than uh, MTB 
looks like a sample pack of the Trapper size 2 drop shot hooks. As in my first MTB, I got a pack of Trapper hooks. And I'm excited. They look really good. I still haven't tried them, but I'm excited to use them. It looks like they're taking the fishing market by stream. Okay, right off the bat, I got a Rapala DT14. Dives to 14 feet. It is the... Uh, brown crawdad color, they say. Sweet, that's quality bait right off the bat. Um, Lunker Hunt. I'm fond of this brand now after I had a Lunker Hunt swim jig. I liked it a lot. It's the froglet. It looks like a, it's a mini frog, a little more narrow, almost like a spook, but weedless in a way, you know? Smaller. It's the uh, quarter ounce, but it looks like it'll walk like a mofo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it is in the, it's a three inch frog, green tea color. Nice, that looks like, that looks like that good. Oh dang, I got the Jenko Fishing CD20, deep diver, root beer shad color, dives at 20 feet. Okay, just a little quick uh, update. I don't have a deep diving cranking rod, so these deep divers, I won't use them for a while. I'm, I'm super stoked. I know they're pretty expensive and they're quality lures, but I probably won't use them until I get the right equipment. Those of you who know how crucial the right equipment is, you will understand why. But those of you that don't know, that's for later days, you'll find out. I got the Mustad Stand Up Brown Jig, jig Heads or Swim Bait Hooks. I'd say these are Jig Heads. Um, they got a little keeper on them. Screw the little bait into it. Um, quarter ounce, it looks like, doesn't say what size hook, but must add. Um, cool, yeah, that's where some of the soft plastics in it. A live target swim bait. Okay, so I, once again, I don't really have the right equipment for a swim bait, but I, I'm gonna try it anyways. Maybe, maybe I can use it with one of my heavier rods. I just don't think I have a long enough rod to really get good distance on this, but I'll try it anyways. And Live Target, I know that it's a good brand, they make good stuff. So um, this is the Threadfin Shad. It is in the, um, what does it say, where is it at? It's a four and a half inch, one ounce, blue violet color, um, just a little swim bait. Don't really have shad in the lakes around here, but I'll try it anyway. I got to lose. I got the Bass Attacker, made in UA, USA, infused with bass fuel. They're all kind of clumped up. I can't really see what they're. Oh, sweet! They're lizards. Awesome. Now I can get my Carolina rigging on. I didn't have any lizards. Haven't had any in a while. Don't really know what color it is. It's kind of a reddish pumpkin. It's a green pumpkin, but there's a little bit of red tint. I'm gonna throw those. And I'm gonna catch a lot of fish on. Okay, and then the Bassmate Ultra Live Baits. Uh, I hope these aren't real worms. I don't like live baits. No, these are fake. Infused with fish attractant. Um, got the four and a half inch night crawler. So I got some more worms. Um, I've been meaning to get better at fishing worms. Looks like now I have to. And uh, that's it. That's all I got in here. So. Um, I'm going to do a quick little conclusion of my thoughts comparing the boxes. So right off the bat, I noticed um, the MTB was a bigger box. It's the Pro Box. But I tried, I think I got the Pro Box from LTB too. But right off the bat, I noticed the MT1 was, MT, MTB1 was bigger. And um, it didn't seem as cram-packed. So in comparison to the LTB, as soon as I opened it, it looked like it was jammed full. Like, it looks like you couldn't... You couldn't get anything else in there versus the MTB looks like you could have thrown a few more baits in there. But also on MTB's uh, defense, they didn't throw throw in big old box style lures like this and the big old diving cranks which have a big box around them. It takes up a lot of room. Um, they, but anyway, as far as the lures, um, it seemed like the LTB had a little bit more quality. I could be wrong. I'm still new to fishing as well. Not super new, 
in the bass world, but I'm not like as experienced as other people. But I noticed they had bigger names in there like Rapala and River to Sea and Lunker Hunt and uh, I mean there's probably a few more I missed, but had some bigger names, more expensive baits. So I think you're getting more for your money versus the MTB. I've seen they thrown. Um, All-terrain tackle. I've never heard of them before. I don't know if that's an expensive lure or not. I guess I could look on a little card, but I mean that's just like it's maybe it's name brand, but like not around here. I mean they threw in a river to sea. I know that's expensive lure there. That's awesome, um, but it seems like the only one besides this jerk bait. Um, I'm sure this thing is expensive. And the reaction strike. I think that's a bigger name, but in conclusion, what I'm saying is. The LTB had like all name brand stuff versus FinTech, never heard of that. Roast me if you want, you guys. I may not know enough to be doing this comparison, but Z-Man, that's a good name, and these are quality, but still, compared to the other box, I just feel like it had more high-end fishing lures. Um, and Catch Co, that's like MTB's thing, so I mean, that didn't really cost them anything, I don't think, but... Um, what do I know, right? Um, I guess the one way I'll find out right before I end this video for you guys is I'll just see. Okay, so in the MTB, uh, that frog was ten fifty, the jerk bait was eleven ninety nine, and then the football head was five bucks. Okay, so I was wrong. That's expensive. The swimming grubs from Catchco. Um, so there's like swim baits, um, three bucks, crazy. The underspin seven dollars. 10 cents wow and then the the z-man uh crusties were five dollars so um i will add up all those things and put it in the description below of the total and see who's giving you more for your money and let's see real quick right before i, I don't want to take up too much of your guys's time uh, thank you for watching if you're still watching and do they give you a little a little thing telling you what's in the box and how much body 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 if they don't then that's not cool okay they do it cool all right the live target shad 10 bucks the mustad hooks five bucks the ultra live night crawler um four and a half inch worms were six bucks the lizards 330 the drop shot finesse um, trapper hooks three dollars the froglet eight dollars and the Jenko fishing uh, SD series deep diver was 11 bucks so I'm gonna add them up in the bottom in the description down below you guys can see which box is worth more and I'm also gonna see what what I paid for this and what I paid for that in comparison of how much more I got for my money. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Please give me a review. Please don't roast me too bad, but go ahead and put some comments in there. Tell me how I'm doing. I will, um, I'll be making lots of videos now. Um, probably a lot of unboxings, but I'll be getting back on the water here soon So because I will have a vehicle where I can actually go fishing again. Um, anyways, guys, you guys have a good day. I will catch you in the next vid. Uh, one quick thing I forgot to tell you guys I got too excited and too overwhelmed in all the comparisons um, I got another box which I already opened but it is the I want to show you guys I'm excited about it the Bass Mafia money bags they're sealed with a zipper and a really good zip lock so whether you want to put your phone, your keys, your food, whatever in them, keeps them good, safe, and dry, really durable, good, stout uh, fishing bags. I got them for uh, storing all my soft plastics. I have a lot of soft plastics that I don't even use at all, and I'm going to weed through what I have and just pretty much keep the stuff that I know I use or I'm going to use or actually want. And give away, either just give away the other stuff or sell it or let it collect dust on the shelf. I don't know, but just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, I also have the rest of my Bass Mafia uh, 
bags and boxes coming. It should be here Monday. So be prepared for another unboxing vid. Like I told you guys, I'm upgrading all my stuff and starting with my tackle boxes first. Um, so if, I mean, if you guys want some soft plastics, leave a comment and I will get a hold of you somehow, get your address and I'll send them to you because I have a lot of soft plastics I don't need, don't want, or don't use. So yeah, just uh, give me a comment, shoot me a like, and I will, maybe a subscribe, and I will send you some free baits. Um, yeah, anyways, catch you guys in the next vid. Later.